Now, veganism's growing popularity is increasingly evident worldwide, but the trend is not limited to food. From restaurants in Cape Town and Los Angeles to hair salons in London, veganism is the buzzword. In fact, veganism and broader food issues are on the agenda this week at the World Economic Summit in Davos. Here's more. London's Brick Lane is famous for its curry houses. But one stands out because of its unique offering, a vegan menu. It was the brainwave of the teenage restaurant manager Abdul Muhammad, whose father owns the City Spice restaurant. Abdul says they created 14 vegan dishes paired with vegan wines. The result was a 170% increase in sales. The teenager settled his first year university bill by cashing in on this rising trend of veganism. Thank you. <laughs> Financially, we've done incredibly well. We, the, it's led to a 170% increase in our restaurant sales and it's also paid for my first year of university fees in terms of the profit from the vegan dishes, just from the vegan dishes alone. Vegans eat a diet that's entirely plant-based avoiding the eggs and milk of traditional vegetarianism. The philosophy extends to clothes and cosmetics too. Many beauty products include honey, beeswax and keratin, which is a protein found in animal cells. In London's Hackney, James Fisher opened WIP, a vegan hair salon to create an eco-friendly, sustainable and cruelty-free option in hair care. Products like Owe and Evo used at WIP are vegan and they only serve vegan refreshments to their clients. I mean, the, the vegan community in London and the world is growing very fast, so it's a very popular idea and um, yeah, it's very well received. I choose to have my hair done at WIP uh, because I really appreciate their um, company ethos of using organic products, uh, sustainable products and um, environmentally friendly friendly products. Um, I try to align the way I spend my money with um, my personal values and this is something that's quite important to me. Founded five years ago, British-based charity Viganuari has rallied more than 225,000 people worldwide to follow a plant-based diet during the month of January. Well, we're not the only ones saying that 2019 is the year of the vegan. Um, we may have heard murmurings of it last year, but going on the number of people pledging to take our pledge and events like this that are happening every day throughout January, I think veganism is here to stay. And like I say, it's no longer a counterculture movement. It's a movement that's centered the mainstream. The demand for plant-based foods is increasing with the global meat substitute market expected to reach $7.5 billion by 2025. That's a jump of 83% from 2017, according to a study by Allied Market Research. The main reason people sign up to go vegan is animal welfare, health benefits and environmental impact. It's a rising trend that the World Economic Forum meet in Davos is also taking note of this year. Bureau report, Beyond World is One.